PeteTall.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. You know when you're cutting away there with your plasma cutter like this and you've only got about yeah much left to cut and then the end blows out of your torch nozzle and you think, oh no, so you go and grab a new nozzle and hello, you'd forgot to buy some new ones, so what do you do? Well, I used to do that. I used to do that all the time. So I figured out a way of just to clean these little nozzles up a little bit just so you can get the little bit of end use out of them so you don't have to stop doing your project, you know what I mean? Because it just winds me up something wicked. Anyway, guys, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and I'll just show you what I learned how to clean up these little tips. So I don't know about you guys, but I was just, I was chronic for not having any spares. Well, I, I thought I'd had more spares than what I did, you know what I mean? You go and get one, and then the bloody thing is not there anymore. I think the fairies must have went and come and took them overnight or something, because I could have sworn I had some there. You know how it is, guys. <laughs> but anyway, and then you need to cut about yo much left of your project, and then your tip's gone a bit manky like this. This is not the worst that I've seen, but I mean, if you're a long way away from the store and you just can't go and get any more or it's night time or whatever, you need just some way just to clean this up and just try and finish what you're doing before it just winds you up something wicked. So anyway, I just come up with a little uh, a little hack of how I used to clean them up. They don't last for very long, but it just might get you out of a hole, you know? Anyway, guys, this is what I do. So just take your tip out of the old torture and <laughs> And this electrode here too, it's not too bad. As you can see, but it's getting down a bit. You can see it's um, see it's starting to wear the hole in here. You can see how it's dropping down. Can you see that? See how it's sort of indentation in there, and what it's supposed to be is, is rounded. I'll see if I've got a uh, I've got a new one here, and I'll show you the difference here. Here's a new one. Here's this one. You see how that's sort of indentation there. This one here, whereas this one here is rounded. So to clean up these electrodes, guys, all I do is just so you can get another turn out of them. You know, grab your drill. If you've got a drill, if you've got a cordless drill with a chuck that opens a little bit wider, I'll show you in a minute that you use a cordless drill, but my uh, cordless drill, the chuck, doesn't open that wide, so I just use my uh, normal drill like so. Just do them up. You don't even have to be that tight. You don't want to, when you do this up, don't do it up that tight that it squashes it because it's still got to fit back into your plasma torch. Just, just tweak it up a little bit, guys. Just tweak it up so she's not knocking around like that. Then you just need a bit of sandpaper guys, I'm using 150 grit here. So, uh, and then just hold your drill down and push the button, get them going. Try and curve it back round guys, so you get the nice curve again. Just like that guys, and uh, what you see there is we've, we've curved the end of it over again, as you can see there. See, she's a very old curvy worthy. See, we've just got a little bit of a roll on it again. I mean, it's not going to cut like new, but it just might get you out of a hole, you know. So uh, we'll take that out of the drill, guys. And then what we want to do, we're going to do the same with the tip. See, this is ugly tip here. So just watch when you put that in there, because this is what I said about the cordless drill. My chuck just doesn't open wide enough just to put the uh, the tip in there. So just make sure that you can grab it with the old drill this. And just watch this because it doesn't, um, it doesn't fit down that fast, so just be careful. And when you're doing this up in the chuck, just put a little bit of pressure on it because this will just squash, because it's only like a copper material. So just a little bit, just so it doesn't fly out. And then we'll do the same thing again, guys. Now, as I said, put a little bit on there. That was a little bit too little. Let's have another go. Yeah, that feels a little bit tighter. You just don't want it too much because you'll crush the you'll crush the body of it, and you won't get it back into your torch. Because trust me, I've been there. I've done that, and I've got the t-shirt. Right, let's do it. trying to do is get that burns off the edge of it and try and just try and straighten it up. Alright guys, I think that's about the best we're going to get him. So 
what does he look like? He looks a little bit better. Looks a little bit more cleaned up. So we'll just take him out of the drill. As you can see, I don't know if you can see there guys. See what I mean? It's still got the pits and that in here. You're never going to get that out of there, but it just might get you away with it just so you can keep on cutting and finish your project so you can get some more um, consumables in for next time, eh? So those fairies don't take the bloody things when you're asleep or something. You know how it is, guys. As you can see there, guys, it's, it's blowing out a little bit on the side, but the hole is still relatively centre. And we've rounded it up again so we can try and get the plasma flow going in the right direction again. So we should get away with it just, um, just for a little couple more cuts. It should be fine. And here's our plasma tip that we did and we just curved over the top of it. So I'll stick it back in the uh, plasma cutter torch and we'll see if it actually cuts. So we'll just reassemble them guys. What I'll do is if this cuts alright I'll show you fellas a really beaten up one and we'll see if we can do it to a really beaten up one see if we can get it to cut again. Alright so we'll put our nozzle on. It's pretty buggered that nozzle but anyway we'll have a go and we'll reassemble them. Yeehaw grandma! Let's see if we can cut some shit with it eh? <laughs> Recondition plasma tip, take one, Pete. See, it's, it's a bit ugly looking again, but it'll help you out if you're in a jam and you just need to get something finished, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll try a really bad one now and see if we can get that to cut. Once again guys, get the old manky tip, Yeah, that's ugly Pete, Yeehaw! Stick it in the old jaws there and tighten it up, but remember not too tight, but not too loose that it flies across the room like it did last time. <laughs> right, so we've got them in there, grab your sandpaper, and for these really bad ones you might need a higher grit sandpaper, but we'll try it with this guys and see what happens eh. with a bit of high grip sandpaper guys. Try and take a bit more off it. Well it's taking the lumps off it guys, so uh, but it's still got a great big hole that's carved out of it, so we'll stick that in, see if we can get a cut out of it, because that's never used to cut this tip, this was buggered. So we use the same old manky electrode guys. The uh, the end that I cleaned up was this end. And then we'll put the swirl ring on. I've got a video about swirl rings if you want to check out and have a look at that one. Now we'll put this real manky looking cutting tip on and see if we can get it to work. Make sure she's centre. Wow guys that looks ugly, look at that. Yucky moo! Righty I think, kick it in the gut, see what happens. Alright, manky cutting tip, let's try and cut with this. Well, hell, that is one manky cutting tip, guys. You wouldn't think that would cut, would you? Just goes to show you, just clean it up a little bit and you'll get an extra little, you might only get an extra five minutes out of it, but it may give you just that little bit extra time to finish your cut. See, that's not a bad cut, actually. It just took a little bit to start. Once we got it going, it was, it was quite good. So we'll give it another crack, eh? Give it a crack, Nige. Not too shabby at all actually, and that cut's not too wide either. Did you see it going around? It didn't have a really wide cut, it was still quite focused really. So there you go, get an extra few minutes out of your cutting trips, save yourself a couple of dollars when the fairy stole all your good ones that you had lying around. So guys, I just reckon we should all make the most out of our cutting tips so we can extend the life a little bit. That's all very well, but I'm a pretty well, we are cheapest chips Pete, you know me, so I like my shit to last. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you've got any better ideas how to clean these tips that aren't supposed to be cleaned, let me know. Anyway, we'll see you next time guys. Bye. Pete's Tools. 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 Tools.